Good morning. Good to see you there. Welcome back to the Story Teapot. And today, it is the 20th, I believe, of June. It is Saturday today. And it is currently, I believe, like half past nine in the morning, nearly. Yeah, about half past nine, 20 to 10 in the morning. It is extremely early today. Um, but today, I am up this early because I want to um, go do a little bit of shopping today. But like I said, it is Saturday, so doing shopping on a Saturday is a usually a disaster. This is, but this is why I'm up at a reasonable, well, a pretty early hour, so I can get up, get ready, and just get up straight off today. Um, plus, I don't want to be going out too late. Uh, well, it's either I go out now or I go out like at like half past five, like before like oh, shops close and stuff like that. But I'd rather go out now um, because Kim's due to go horse riding a little bit later on and everything like that. And plus, it looks like it might rain a little bit later on as well. So, I'd rather go out now when the weather looks pretty reasonable. Also, I've just remembered, I usually do my Pokemon thing today. But, yesterday was this dude. And today is... Oh. It's the bloody bundle of them. I didn't even need to bloody show you guys. Ah, oh, well. Um, might as well show you what weather's like as well today. The weather looks, like I said, pretty decent. It does look cloudy all the way over yonder, though. All the way over by Emily Moore Mass, it looks really, really miserable. So, I reckon that'll probably end up coming over to us at some point during the day. So, I want, like I said, get out get and get to the shops ASAP. So, guys, I am um, now downstairs and I thought I'd get a quick cuddle off of Evie before I um, decided to go out and do some uh, shopping and stuff like that. And she has been shutting off her unicorn to me all morning. And she's in a very, very good mood this morning, to be fair. But she's not overly chatty. She's just making noises at the moment. She's just sat here going, hmm, hmm. So she's just opening and ahhing all this morning. So I think she might still be a little bit tired from last night. So I don't think she slept very well. Did you? I don't think you slept very well. No. See, she's barely even speaking, but she seems very, very excited, which is really, really good. She seems to be in a good mood, which is even which is really, really good. But... I'm going to get off in five minutes, so uh, probably about 10 o'clock. And I should be back probably for about 11 o'clock or something like that. But I'm only go going to um, B&M, uh, not B&M, sorry, uh, Iceland. I might be going to Lidl, but I don't think... I what? Go to Well Farm. Oh, yeah, I need to go to Well Pharmacy, pharmacy as well to get some um, baby formula as well. Because stuff queuing up for co-op, because that'll take a short century. So, guys, I am now making my way out um, into town, obviously. And I'm going to go probably well first, then uh, B&M, then um, Iceland, uh, and then make my way home. Then from Iceland, cause it's like, just go furthest away place first and then make my way back, basically. Uh, so yeah, shouldn't be out for too long really today, as long as the queues aren't too bad. So we'll see how bad, how busy it is actually in town today. So like I said, um, coming out early was probably going to be the best idea. And I've just passed Iceland, because, like I said, I like to go to the furthest away place and then cut make my way back, in a sense. There's not a single cute person outside queuing, so by the looks of it, I'll be able to just go straight in, which is a massive bonus. There is some people, like, queuing outside at the butchers and stuff like that, but that's kind of expected on a Saturday morning. Um, but I'm going to get to, well, and then I'm going to get to B&M and then Iceland, hopefully. By the time I get to Iceland, there's still no queue. So I am now home from being shopping and everything like that. And surprisingly, it took a bit longer than it actually was, uh, than I expected. I'm now, it's now nearly quarter past 11. And um, I did say that Iceland was, uh, there were no queue in Iceland when I walked past. But on the way back, there were about five people outside or something like that. So I didn't mind queuing for a little bit, so it wasn't too bad. Um, so I managed to get a fair bit of shopping from um, Iceland and a decent bit of shopping from B&M. I've got three bags full of stuff, basically, uh, which is pretty... Pretty, pretty mad to be fair and I'll tell you something my wrists are absolutely killing me though from carrying those bags all the way back home but I'm going to get them get all frozen stuff away before it starts to defrost so guys I am now upstairs and I am actually sat at my PC for once which is a massive rarity I've actually got it on for once and um, I am currently sat at the PC because I need to actually do some um, training for work um, so I've got it all got it set up on PC and everything like that 
Um, it should only take me about an hour or so, apparently. Um, so I'm going to crack on with this and get it done with ASAP because it needs doing before, I believe it was, I believe it's tomorrow it needs finishing by, but um, I want to get it out of the way today, so it's just out of the way. And it's better for me and then it's better for my managers as well because then they're not getting whinged at themselves as well for me not doing stuff. So I'm going to get it done now and get it out of the way. And uh, yeah, I'm going to probably just chill out and listen to some music as well. And I've got me... Um, Arizona watermelon iced tea with ready with me and I've got me chicken wrap as well for me dinner because it is basically dinner time as well so I'm doing this basically over dinner time um, and I do apparently get paid for doing this as well which is a massive bonus which is another reason why I'm just going to get it out of the way now uh, so yeah I'm going to crack on with it and you'll probably see me when I'm finished doing it so I'm currently in the middle of um, doing my training still I just literally got up for it literally a split second because Kim is um, out horse riding at the moment because uh, it's actually a decent day for us to actually go doing it. Um, but I have just heard someone I've just put some Mickey Mouse Clubhouse on, on Disney Plus for her. But Evie's awake watching some Disney. Uh, well, Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse on Disney Plus. So uh, Evie's awake and she seems in a really, really good mood, don't you? Yeah, there's that smile. And then she bends herself in half like that. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to get back to my training and leave her to watch uh, Mickey Mouse Club out and hopefully I'll have it done pretty soon. So I've now finished all of my um, training and everything like that and it did take quite a while to be fair. It nearly took like an hour and a half, two hours nearly, but obviously um, I had to be up and down with Evie and like stuff like that as well. And obviously I've been to the toilet and I've been eating it meantime as well, like I had a bit of food and stuff. So it took me a bit longer than I thought it would, but not too bad really. But the weather has took... A massive change. It looks absolutely bloody gorgeous out there. Which, I'll tell you something, I'm bloody jealous that Kim's out there in um, bloody nice weather while I'm bloody stuck in doors. Um, but, put PC to sleep for a little bit and uh, I'm going to pop into here because a little someone has been whinging for a little bit just because I think she doesn't want to be in here anymore. So, oh, hello. You say hiya. You say hiya. Yeah. You say hiya. No, you don't want to say hiya. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting her up. And getting her maybe ready to go for a little bit of a walk. Take her out for a little bit. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still here. I think I'm buggery enough. So I better get her up before she starts being any more stroppy. So me and Evie are off out on a little adventure for a little bit of a walk. Um, while Kim's out off riding. Basically just going to go surprise Kim basically because um, she's um, just at the bottom of the hill where we live basically doing horse riding so thought we might, go da might as well go down and go say hello since the weather seems to be oh, not too bad at the moment. Um, I've got changed into shorts and a t-shirt because it was absolutely sweltering hot earlier uh, when I was on my way home so I thought it would be the best idea to get changed than go out wearing pretty thick, thick clothes like I was early, especially when I've got Evie attached to me like this, so get down there and um, should see some more horses like we did last time, so that should be quite nice to see. So me and Evie have now arrived at the stables and Kim's just in there doing some sweeping of, um, of Angel's stable, but Angel's out in field at the moment just because it's a nice day really, so she's um, Kim's put her out, um, but we've got two, in, two, two different horses in here today, we've got this one, which we don't, Kim doesn't remember the name of exactly, but it's, it's a beautiful horse, I'll tell you that much. Hello. Hello. Very beautiful horse, I love its mane, it's a beautiful colour. Um, but then we've got over here, we know this this one's name because his name is literally right there, even though it's backwards for you guys, his name's Dylan. Hello Dylan, mate. How are you, pal, buddy? Oh, you're, you've got a very clean sable, Jesus. You have got it very nice in there, pal, don't you? I'm jealous of you. None of my house is that clean. <laughs> so yeah, he's look he's a very beautiful very beautiful boy as well. Um because when I ride all I feel is free. <laughs> That's nice. You need a bit of a clean don't you buddy, but you don't look too bad really either, to be fair. But yeah, there's not many other horses in here today. Um, a lot of them are out already and stuff like that, so yeah, there's only two of them in today. I think most of them are out in um field just chilling out because it's obviously such a nice day. There's no point having them trapped inside. But, um, yeah, so 
Tim's just going to finish sweeping that up basically and then we're probably going to get off back home and then just chill out for the rest of the day. Um, we're going to probably get home and play some video games or something like that. Because I've finished all, obviously, all my training and everything like that. So today is just, well, t- the rest of the day is just going to be me just chilling out and relaxing. So I am now just chilling out in my chair, as I said I would be, and I'm having a sandwich. I'm having a chicken sandwich. You all right? You all right? Yeah, she's fine. She got caught in her throat, I think. She's having a bit of bicky. She, got, she had a bit of bicky in her mouth. No, sorry, I'll the end of her tongue. And I just think she went... <coughs> uh, but yeah, as I'm saying, I'm having a chicken sandwich while watching Jeremy play some Fallout, but it has just crashed on him. While I load Fallout 76, because I'm actually playing it again. And um, so once I've had my sandwich, I'm actually going to jump on some Fallout 76 and uh, probably play that for a few hours. And then I think I'm going to jump on COD a bit later on, because... Kind of want a bit of a variety day today. I don't want to just play one specific game all day. So it is currently 10 to 6 in the evening, and um, Evie is having. Um, what's she having? Sweet potato, veg, and chicken. There we go, sweet potato, veg, and chicken. And here is. Well, so I had a little bit, but she pulled out a right face, so I tried pulling out my phone as quickly as possible to get a clip, but she doesn't seem to be pulling any face anymore. She seems to be getting it down, which. This one, to be honest, is good, but it's the first time I think she's ever had this, isn't it? Yeah. Last it's... time she had sweet potato, she didn't like it, but she's changing all the time, and her tastes are changing all the time, so... Well, that's a bonus, then, so we, at least we know now that she does like sweet potatoes, so we can just get her them now from now on. I believe they're the Heinz ones, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, so they're the ones that I got from over there from, the, from Lidl, I ended up getting, like... God, I think I ended up getting, like, nearly 20 lots of baby food for her. You got two of each? Yeah. So I ended up getting quite a decent few. Um, so she's she's the like the sweet potatoes, which is good. So at least then they aren't going to go to waste in the future. So um, the last clip I believe you saw um, Eve eating actually. Uh, she ended up actually devouring all them all that food. But it's now half past eight at night and. Uh, I am feeding Evie currently, um, a bottle um, of obviously the formula I got earlier for her, um, so yeah she's uh, quite sleepy so she might end up having an early night tonight, um, but she's taking the bottle quite well to be fair, she's throwing it back but knowing Evie she'll probably end up wanting a yoghurt or something like that in like 5-10 minutes time anyway. So it uh, Kim has been um, cooking for the last maybe like 20 minutes, half an hour or something like that, like for quite some time now. Because uh, it's now uh, quarter past nine, and um, we are having wraps and chicken and rice, and I am so excited to eat it because I'm absolutely bloody starving. So I'm gonna get into a location on Fallout just to sit and chill out and just that my characters. Is, well, actually no, I'm gonna send my characters to his camp and then I can just sell a lot of stuff basically, and then um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, well, I'm gonna get my food down me and absolutely devour it all because I am absolutely bloody starving. So guys, I need to actually outro this vlog because uh, I've realised while I edited together, I don't actually have one. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you do, if you did enjoy, make sure you do leave a like and do subscribe as well. Also, if you could share it with your friends, that would help massively. Also, down below in the description is a link to us Patreon if you'd like to support us. But if obviously if you can't, we appreciate that you just watch the videos anyway. Also, as well, in the description below will be a link to all the uh, social medias and stuff like that. If you'd like to follow us there and keep up to date when we post this new videos and everything like that. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you guys in tomorrow's video at 5pm. And peace!